During this time of year, we'll have bird watchers coming out, prairie plant enthusiasts, managers, wildlife researchers. Uh, then in a few months of September, we'll have a lot of hunters coming out here. And I think uh, the one thing I want to stress, if we're going to have support for grazing on public lands in Minnesota and other states, we really need to take into consideration how our clientele can access these public lands. And I think simple things of having walk-in access points at the main parking lots, at all the field approaches, gates built into the system can go a long way, keeping our clientele uh, very happy and uh, support for grazing on, on our public lands in the future. So one we're looking at today, uh, all the credit goes to Joe Blastic and Pete Bowman with the Nature Conservancy. And they came up with the idea, and here we have electric, where we're just bringing our electricity up and around, continuing it on down, and simply a woven wire gate with a hinge. Walk through, closes behind you. And then we made sure we uh, took the bolts, cut them down, that support this uh, post, and we'll come out here and shave them down for even flat so you can't get your clothing caught on, rip any clothing. Some people ask, why with the archway? And that has to do with prescribed fire. If we were to have this you know, on the ground, then we have to worry about when we do prescribed burning to protect it. And burying wires with ground squirrels and potential for the wires being broke, that's why we designed you know, above ground so we can check it from an easier maintenance standpoint than having to bury it below ground. Materials, probably looking at $20. Right now, it's just some cattle panels cut to size. A spring you can pick up at any local hardware store. You want a heavy duty spring. And then, uh, you know, some clamps on the back. You know, bolts with the H braces were here already. I would go a little bit wider is better. Uh, you gotta remember, you know, on this side here, we don't have too much waterfall hunting, um, but you have people that have deer carts that wanna pull them through, a full bag of decoys on their back. My advice would be build them wider than you think you need for in the future. And that way they can accommodate wheelchairs, they can accommodate game carts, and everything to make it user uh, friendly. Again, a simple design, very efficient. This has been uh, two years so far, maintenance free. And I think it's, again, very important when we look at public land use, visitor access, to make sure we take them into consideration at all times possible.